Ladies and gentlemen, I am done with Kanye West. I was going to talk about it when it first happened. I, like, what was it? October 12th. I'm looking at my Facebook. October 12th was, I think, the day that he went to the White House and was talking to Donald Trump about several different things. And he went up there and embarrassed himself. And he went up there and and spoke on behalf of black people in a way that I didn't agree with. Um, so first of all, let me say this. I'm never a person who believes a person is a coon because they go and talk to an individual who who they feel like could be oppressing their people or who could feel like who they feel like could be able to bring about some type of change some type of way. Discussion is always good because we need to find a solution somehow, some way. And who am I to tell you who am I to tell a person that they're a coon for trying to trying a different avenue or going straight to this individual who a lot of people have a problem with and discussing the um, discussing the, the needs of the black community. I'm never going to be a person that's going to call you a coon for that. What I'm going to be upset with you about is when you go up there and like when you say things, I'm, I got a quote from Kanye. He say, you think racism can control me? Oh, that don't stop me. That's an invisible wall. Now, there's a huge problem with Kanye West saying that. He's basically, and, that, and, and when he's saying that, he's, he's giving power to the people who say, and I always say this on my other posts, on my other videos. He's giving power to the people that say, Kanye West don't let racism stop him. What's wrong with y'all? Why you complaining all the time? Why you keep talking about racism? Kanye West, he, he, he don't talk about it. He don't let it stop him. He keep pushing. Why you can't do the same thing? What's your excuse? And to that I say, first of all, Kanye West has wealth that a lot of black people will never attain. A lot of black people that's coming from the hood, that's in Inglewood, that's in all these different ghettos, all these different inner city communities, they will never attain that type of wealth that Kanye has. So when he says that, that's allowing people to, that's allowing uh, people outside of the black community to say, well, black people should pull themselves up by the bootstraps. Now that dang on rhetoric, I hate that rhetoric. Y'all should pull y'all um stuff up by the bootstraps. And that's a mindset that racist people want black Americans to have to stop us from creating discussions about racism. Because they're going to say it shouldn't be a fact. Yeah, it's here. That's that. When he say that, that mean they're giving power to people that say, yeah, racism is here. So what? So what? Keep fighting. So what? So what? No, no. Ain't no so what. We're going to talk about it. We're going to try to eliminate all this systemic racism that goes on. We're going to try to eliminate this stuff. We're going to talk about it, but we're going to try to see. We talking about it to seek solutions to stop this stuff from occurring. When Kanye said he don't let it stop him, it can't stop him. See, a lot of people flipped that and thought he was on some empowerment stuff, some black empowerment. We don't let that stop us. No. See, that is a dangerous rhetoric when he's saying stuff like that. That gives people the power to say, Kanye West don't do it. Don't let racism stop him. Y'all shouldn't either. So what? You got a black president. People name all these outliers that we have in the community. So look at Kanye. Everybody's not musically inclined to get out of the ghetto. Everybody's not. Everybody's not able to create beats and create music like Kanye West is. So what are we going to do to beat the system? We're going to try to get knock it down. And we're going to knock it down by having these discussions. And when Kanye says stuff like that, that causes other people outside of the black community to try to discourage discussions, which they all, a lot of them, a lot of the racist people outside of the black community, they try to do that already. Stop discussion so we will stop talking about it. And that's that time when I hate when people say, oh, you're a race baiter. Race baiter is a, it was a, a term coined by racist people who want you to stop talking about the racism that they benefit from. So when Kanye says stuff like that, he gives credence to people that call black people uh, race baiters. So what? Keep pushing, keep pushing. So what? Like, no, nah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. We're going to try to eliminate this. We're going to talk about the problem with all of this, right? And then, this is another thing that got me so. And then you have some people that, because he was up there talking about uh, prison reform and trying to free Larry Hoover, who was the founder of the Gangster Disciples, um, Street Gang. Uh, now he's changed to growth and development. Since he's been in prison, been in prison for years. A lot of people refer to him as a political prisoner who was in prison because of the power that he had. Um, so much power that he had amongst a lot of black people. 
But see, this is when I got a problem. I'm on YouTube. I mean, I'm on Facebook, and I, I see black people on there. Man, I don't care what y'all trying to call Kanye a coon. He about to free folks, big folks out of jail. He about to free big folks, big folks, meaning the big GD, Larry, Ho Larry Hoover. Now, that's some, see, uh, when it's attached to some ignorant, some ignorant, some ignorant shit like game banging, I, I can't co-sign it at all. I can't excuse my language. But a lot of y'all try to, and it wasn't even like speaking up for Larry trying to come out and create a positive change. Y'all just so happy. Y'all big GD crazy. Y'all just so happy they about to free one of y'all chiefs. Like, free y'all chief. Like, like, come on, man. And this is one thing I hate. The streets is not the only thing that should move a lot of people in our community. It's way more to the black community and black experience than the streets. And y'all try to act like that's the end all be all of the black community. Like, when y'all try to, like, y'all get galvanized off street shit. Like, off street shit. Like, come on, man. For real? You see what's going on out here? George Zimmerman out here signing Skittle packets, mocking the death, his killing, his murder of Trayvon Martin. And you got people, t like, it's just, and it wasn't, I'm, I can see if people were like, man, hopefully Larry can come out and make a change. I saw ignorant folks from the hood just happy to throwing up pitchforks, just happy because they think they cheap about to get out of jail on some ignorant stuff. Like, get out of here, man. Get out of here. And... Like for me, I feel like Donald Trump looking at Kanye, looking at like, look at this, look at this fool, look at this fool. He know having Kanye in there is gonna encourage a lot of black people to, uh, not a lot of black, well yeah, a lot of black people because a lot of pe black people still was standing up for Kanye and 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 standing for Kanye and supporting him. So George, I mean George, oh uh, God, Donald Trump looking at that like, man, he gonna get a lot of black people to support me now. This is the guy who has a lot of say so or a huge voice in the black community, and he could possibly get me a lot more supporters in office. So that's why he got him sitting there listening to him talk. Jim Brown and him sitting up there. He got them in there because he probably he don't. I don't Trump. I don't think Donald Trump cared nothing about what he was talking about. He looking like, all right, cool. You gonna get a lot of black supporters on the bandwagon to keep me up in office. So this all good for me. This is a great. PR uh, move for the president. And it's another thing, too. Y'all know how these young shorties in Chicago run around, running wild. Do y'all think a lot of them gonna listen? They know who Larry Hoover is. Do y'all think they really gonna listen to what he got to say if he gets out? I, that's, a, that's, a, that's a question that I have to, to propose. And I don't know. Because a lot of them don't even listen to their own mama. Can't nobody tell them nothing, nothing. Can't nobody tell them what to do at all. Nobody. Don't have no respect for authority. A lot of them don't. So you think they're going to listen to somebody that been in jail all these years that ain't never been outside in the streets with them and all that to protect them from all that stuff that's going on? Yeah, you could say he could possibly protect them from going down the road, going down that crazy road now, but they don't got no recognition. They don't have no... I mean, they know who he is, but... For them, they probably look like he ain't my mama and my daddy. They don't listen to their mama and daddy anyway. They don't have no respect for authority. I can't say that he going, the young boys going to listen to him. The older crowd, I'm sure possibly will. Some of the young crowd, I can't say the whole uh, younger crowd is going to follow Larry Hoover. So, um, when Kanye went up there saying that, for, like, okay, I get what he's saying, trying to uh, free political prisoners, but it was just like, I don't know. It I don't think Donald Trump was feeling none he was talking about. He just used that as a PR move. And for me, what make me mad is that when... Now, I know a lot of people are not... Um, uh, some people may not be educated on some things. I'm not educated on everything. You know what I'm saying? I went to school, but I'm not educated on everything. But I don't like when there are clearly things... Oh, this is another thing. Yeah, yeah. So, there are clearly things that affect... Black people in so, so many different ways. And some of our people just so, they're not, they're so ignorant to not know that certain type of words and phrases are things that could work against us in the future. I mean, they're not aware of that. So they just ride the wave with whatever their favorite artist is saying, with whatever the guy that they look up to in the music industry is saying, and they just go along with it and ride out with it. 
And I need some of my people to just think about some of the stuff that he said. Like he went up there and he was talking about how when he put on the Make America Great Again hat, it gives him strength. He like he feel like a suit. He feel like a Superman. Like he got superpowers when he put it on. He feel like he wearing a cape or like. Then he started talking about how he grew up in a household where uh, or the family he's in is no uh, masculine energy, and that makes it more masculine energy. I'm looking like, is he looking at uh, the president trying to be a like as a daddy, as a father figure? Like, what is he? What is he going? Where is he going with this? Where is he going with all of this? And that's when I'm like, yeah, he he gotta stop. He gotta stop. From when he said that stuff about he can't let, don't let racism stop him. Of course, racism can't won't stop a man that has all the money and resources to um to knock it out the way or to prevent it or to to immobilize it in a certain and to a certain extent. He got enough money to overpower some of that stuff, you know, because money talks more than than skin color sometimes. Like a lot of times, for real, sometimes. So, um. Of course, he got the power to say, the money to say, oh, racism ain't going to stop me because he got all this money for me and you, a person that don't come from all that type of wealth. What good does that do us? Because Kanye said it ain't going to stop him. We supposed to say, oh, it's all good. Let them be racist. We ain't going to let that stop. No, nah, hell no. No. Uh -uh, we calling that out. And... It, and and wow, well, 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 I'm about to say something else, man. I, I, I'm losing my train of thought. Thought is latest 11:52 p.m. I'm really supposed. I'm really about to be in the bed in a minute, but I just had to talk to y'all. What else did that man say? Um, because it was a lot of different points. I should have wrote it down. There's a lot of different points that I just don't agree with. Oh, so a lot of black people are saying, you know, radical change takes radical action. They like I believe in Kanye. I think Kanye is on to something. I think he's trying to manipulate them to get them to like him enough to where he could possibly um get into office and come about and create the change that we want to see. And I mean, I'm I don't buy it, but I mean, hey, maybe he is. But until then, I'm gonna call him out on BS the stuff that he be saying, stuff like this. Like I'm going to call him out on it because he got to be held accountable. I'm not going to wait and see because what you, I'm showing you, I'm going off what you show me. What you show me is what you get from me. If you saying stuff like this, I'm going to respond like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to give you the benefit of the doubt when you coming out saying stuff that's dangerous rhetoric for our people. Like, I'm not going to let that ride. Until you show me otherwise, I'm going to speak out against it. Now, if you show me otherwise, I will be man enough to apologize to Kanye West and say, man, Kanye West had a bigger picture. Excuse me, but for right now, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it how I see it. So if he out here saying crazy, embarrassing stuff, I'm gonna speak on it. I don't care. I I, I don't. Uh, that's not uh because -uh. people that's gonna disagree with me. I don't care nothing about that. I'm not gonna wait and see what what is he trying to do. What is he really? I'm not gonna try to decipher what he's trying to say because this. Nah, man. It, uh, he's a smart man on certain aspects. He could be, you know, he could be a smart dummy a lot of times too, though. But so when he say this type of stuff, I'm going to come out and speak out against it. I ain't going to just let it ride. I'm not going to say, well, maybe he trying to do. No, I'm going to take it for what it is. If he changes, like I said, I will apologize if he does uh, do something to make a change. But a lot of this just got me feeling like he's only acting like this due to the fact that uh, President Barack Obama didn't fool with him at all and spoke out against him. And now he's trying to, to try to find a way to get back out. And the fact that, uh, oh, Barack Obama was so close to Jay Z and Beyonce. So maybe he tried to find him a little relationship with the president or maybe trying to get his way into office any type of way anyway. And who's to say if Kanye gonna make these changes we want him to see? I don't know. I don't know. But. I don't know, man. The man said some said some ridiculous stuff to me, and it's so funny how the people that were so mad at Kanye West when he went on stage and said Beyonce had the best video when he did that to Taylor Swift, all them crowd of people, all them crowd of people that couldn't stand Kanye then, we all oh, how can he do that to Taylor Swift? They loving Kanye after this 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 stunt with uh Donald Donald Trump with the president. They love him now. Is mighty funny. Don't you think that's mighty funny how that crowd is flipped like that? Don't y'all think that? Or is it just me? I don't know. But 
I'm through with that, man. Yo, like, and it's going to be somebody that's come out and say, we don't get the bigger picture. We all, we don't see what Kanye doing. We don't see what he's saying. Nah, man. Kanye saying some stuff that allow other people to ride on us and get down on us and, and allow, and look at us like, nah, y'all should overcome all this stuff because Kanye, they think Kanye the voice for us. So Kanye said he can get through it. So y'all should be able to get through it too. So what is racism? And y'all need to support us because Kanye said this half feel like he got superpowers when he get put on, when it when it gets put on and all that type of stuff. And I just want my people to wake up, man. And it's like, I'm just I was just so disappointed when I seen people just so celebrating Kanye because he's talking about um trying to free Larry Hoover and they was replying not with intelligent answers, but with answers about game banging, like throwing up pitchforks, throwing up the rakes, like they about to free big folks cracking to like, oh man, we we need big folks. I like, like, man, we can't wait till he 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 a uh, icon because he's trying to free the folks. I like, y'all, man. It's just, it just sometimes it kill me how much we try to attach ourselves to sh to the streets so bad as if that's the black culture. Hell no, man. No, we are brilliant people. It's so much to our culture than to our culture there's some street stuff like it, you can miss me with that i'm sorry you can miss me with that man so y'all can say y'all can get mad at me for what if y'all want to for how i feel but i don't know kanye be on some clown stuff to me and that to me is so crazy because that is like is that the same dude that was saying uh george bush doesn't care about black people uh during hurricane katrina is that the same dude that was on 103rd and hosted at the Harold's chicken by my granny crib on his first video at Jackie Robinson West Park on the South Side, that the same dude from the South Side? Come on, man. I don't know, man. Y'all gotta let me know what's up with him. I, I don't I ain't